Then you have your emails. I'm going to just go out there. And the email editor is very much drag and drop. But Microsoft, again, also gives you some templates. So you can import templates if you are working on another system at the moment that you will want to be bringing over. You can import those. Um, you get in, you get templates that you could be using and customizing. Um, and you also have some controls. So you'll see that you can lock down certain things if branding is a worry for you. So if you, for example, want to lock down the footer of emails and say, no one can change this, you can do that and you can apply security rules. So I could say only Joseph can change email footers. He's the designer. He's the one that has control over that. So that is possible. And then everything else that you see is basically, again, it's drag and drop. So I can drag and drop content. I don't know if you are um, still designing emails if you use HTML. So uh, a few years ago, like two to three years ago, we had a lot of clients that were reliant on HTML emails. But I have to say most of them have slowly come over to drag and drop because it has improved a lot as the as um, customer insights evolved. And if there is something specific that you want to put into a content block, like it might be like an ROI calculator or something clever that people can um, work with, you can put a code block in. So I can put the code that I want into this code block and then it's still adhering to the other parameters. So it, I just find that it usually makes responsiveness and the different web browsers and devices you know microsoft has to worry about that because these are you're working within their templates and that's something that they're working on all the time um but if html is a need it's still completely possible you can still code your emails if you want to um, and you would get the same functionality so you can still preview it you can still test it and you can also look at the different devices okay and that will give you an idea which is nice to play around with. But again, um, in the beginning, I always urge everybody do an actual send, get used to what this is going to look like and, and use your personal emails and that just to get used to the system. OK, I can again, I can check the content um, and it's going to say to me what's missing. Like it's saying to me, the content part is missing. If I try again, it's probably going to tell me you haven't set up an address because I have to have an address here and I have to have my compliance center ready to send this out. OK, but it just gives you a bit of added uh, peace of mind that the system will do some checks for you and then, you know, the other ones are, are up to you. 